Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 131, Elements of College Mathematics, Section 5.2, Problem 10. This is Section 5.2, Problem 10. It says Donna wants to buy a new Corvette. She would like to buy the car in cash eight years from now. How much does she have to save every month at 6% compounded monthly to have $65,000 in eight years for her Corvette? So, what type of problem is this? This is a sinking fund because you know the goal. This is what the end amount has to be and you want to calculate how much you save on a regular basis and in this case, it's every month. We're saving every month. So, the sinking fund formula is P equals A over some brackets and in the brackets there's a numerator and a denominator. In the numerator of the brackets we have 1 plus R over M in parentheses raised to the M times T power. There's a minus 1 after the parentheses. And an R over M again in the denominator of the brackets. So, now when we fill this formula in, we will have P, the regular payment, equals A, the final amount for this problem, $65,000 which should get you a reasonably nice Corvette. And in the brackets, we have in the numerator of the brackets, we have some parentheses with one plus R over M, so it'll be one plus the R, the rate as a decimal for this problem, 6% is the rate, it would be 0 .06 as a decimal. The M is 12 because we're doing monthly compounding. And I close my parentheses. The parentheses have an exponent of m times t. m is 12 for monthly compounding. And the t, the time, is 8. 8 years because that's the problem says in 8 years. And after the parentheses is a minus 1. In the denominator of the parentheses is r over m. Again, the r, the rate as a decimal for this problem is 0 0.06. And the m, the type of compounding for this problem is 12. We have monthly. So, let's start the computation. I'm going to do the work in the parentheses that are in the numerator of those big brackets. So I'm going to have P equals 65,000 over some brackets. And in the brackets, we have in the numerator of the brackets in parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12. Now 0 0.06 over 12 is 0 0.005 and I'm going to add 1 to it. So 0 0.005 plus 1 is 1.005. And then 12 times 8 is 96 for my exponent. So I have 1.005 in parentheses raised to the 96th power. And after my parentheses, I have a minus 1. And then in the denominator of the brackets, I have 0 0.005. And again, I usually point out, at this stage in the formula, you're going to have the same decimal in the numerator and in the denominator of your brackets. In the numerator, there's a 1 in front of the decimal. In the denominator, there is not. So the next part of the process, I'm going to do that 96th power. That means I will have P equals 65,000 over some brackets. In the numerator of the brackets, I will figure out 1.005 to the 96th power. So I put 1.005 on the screen of my calculator, press the exponent button of the calculator, put in a 96, it equals, and the calculator tells me the answer is 1.0. 61414270 Then there's a minus 1 after that. That's in the numerator of the brackets. In the denominator of the brackets there's a point zero zero five. So now in the numerator of the brackets I'll do the 1.61414270 minus 1. And the next part of the problem I will have 65,000 over some brackets, and in the numerator of the brackets, I have 0 0.61414278, and in the denominator of the brackets, 005. And I'll close up my brackets. And then I'll start another computation. I'll have 65,000. Over. Now the brackets can be reduced down to one number. And to, to do that, 
for my brackets, I am going to divide 0 0.61414208 divided by 0 0.005. And that's going to give me a value in the bottom of my brackets of 122.828541. Now the final step is to divide 65,000 divided by the 122.828547. Now again, I can just clear everything out and retype it in, which means I would enter the 122.828547 again. But I'll just store it in memory and then divide 65,000 divided by the recall memory. So 65,000. And I get as a final answer, P equals 529.1929636. Now again, because that's money, I don't want so many places after the decimal. I want to just round it off. So 192 something isn't enough to make it 20 cents. So the final answer is $529.00 and 19 cents. Donna saves this much every month for eight years. She'll have enough to buy her Corvette in cash. Now just out of curiosity, if she buys the Corvette now and takes an eight year loan at 6%, her monthly payments would be about $850. So this way if she saves 529, she's earning interest. If she buys the Corvette now and makes the $850 payment, she's paying interest. That's the difference. If you can be patient, it's a much different price per month.